Hello, this is Scott Brown with a MotorAge Tech Tip sponsored by Autil. Today we'll be discussing a couple of useful features related to ADAS service you may or may not be aware of. Now, if you're currently already set up with the Autel ADAS calibration equipment, you'll find on your tablet an app titled ADAS Filter, which provides great information regarding ADAS requirements per vehicle. For example, say you wanted to perform some research about some of the newer vehicles you may not have seen yet. We'll make sure that our equipment is set up. We can select calibration data. Also, if you want to know what a specific tool fits, you can use that function there. And then here we will select our make and model here. So we're going to go to Audi. We're going to select an A7. And we'll pick 2024. Okay, it's a sedan. And then these are the various systems supported on this particular vehicle. So we start with adaptive cruise. You can see the target that's required. If you're familiar with this, this is the reflector and that's the three pitch uh, selection. Shows you the space, so 1200 millimeters from the front bumper and uh, where the radar sensor is located. If we select another one, lane change assist. So you see that we've got to have at least 2400 millimeters out the back. The target is going to be the radar uh, Doppler generator, uh, the CSC 0605-01. And uh, you can see we've got 770 millimeters out from the center line. And then uh, camera rear view. So that's the target that lays on the ground back there. It shows you the distance that you're going to need uh, from the center line of the rear wheels. We go to the heads up display. Uh, that's probably going to be just a scan tool functionality. Night vision. So you will need the CSC 0603-01. So that is a heated grid uh, generator, 1,200 millimeters out front. And let's see, front sensors for driver's assistance systems. So there's your camera uh, target, 1,500 millimeters from the left front wheel. And what else? Laser. Oh, this, this one actually has the LiDAR. So here's your LiDAR uh, reflector board, target board, CSC 0602-04, 1,312 millimeters out from the center of the vehicle, or from the front bumper there. And then the lane change assist, of course, we were there already. Okay, so let's pick another vehicle here. Let's go down. Let's look at a Hyundai. And Hyundai US. 2024 okay and then we've got us we've got several there front view camera we can see actually in this one here you're going to have two different uh, positions you've got the first setting 100 millimeters out from the bumper and then the second one is 1200 millimeters out in the front so you get an idea of how much time uh, that you'll need for setting that up we pick the uh I'll pick the Front radar sensor, 2,500 millimeters. You'll need the, the corner reflector or trihedral for that. The rear corner, that is a dynamic, okay. And same with the rear, and then the rear view monitor. Again, that's gonna be scan tool related, okay. So let's take a look at the Subaru, because Subaru's had some new uh, technology. So we'll find our Subaru. Whoops, we want our Subaru North America, or US, uh, Ascent 2024, and blind spot monitor. Okay, so it gives us some dimensions um, to triangulate to that position uh, for proper aiming. We'll pick the eyesight. So the eyesight's gonna need that uh, uh, convoluted target, that uh, very high contrasty. Uh, unit, you need about 4,000 millimeters out in front of the vehicle, center line, and then the wide angle mono camera. That's a new camera that's in the center. And you see now we've got uh, three targets there um, that look like uh, got to be about 4,000 millimeters from the front, center line of the front wheel out in front and uh, spacing. All right. And then the last vehicle, let's go down and look at the Toyota. Mirai, okay, that one, select that, 2023, 
Got a lot of systems on that. So adaptive cruise control, you got 3,000 millimeters out in front of the vehicle. You've also got an option for, it looks like there is a plate. And then there's also a dynamic calibration. And I'm seeing more and more vehicles now requiring a dynamic follow-up calibration uh, after you do a static. A round view, so you see that that is gonna be a very complicated and time-consuming calibration. Blind spot, uh, corner reflectors, um, and again, quite a bit of setup and 2,100 millimeters out, 2,600 millimeters out from the center line of the vehicle uh, to either side. So you've got to have quite a bit of space. Uh, this is uh, another corner reflector for a radar sensor. And then um, we got a mono camera. So that is the, the standard 601 slash 15 uh, in three positions. So that's called the sequential but you also have the option of doing what's called a one-time recognition, which is right up in the front if you have that specific target, and then also dynamic calibration uh, as well. And then uh, stereo camera system. Uh, again, we're gonna use the 601 slash 15, and or you're gonna use the one-time position uh, target. So now, as you can see, these are some of the pretty helpful features that Autel has added. And for your service advisors, they can perform many of these same tasks right through their web browser utilizing the ADAS setup and reverse lookup guide. Just browse to this web address and you're gonna scroll down and we're gonna select the product type for what you have in your shop. If you're looking up calibration data, we'll select a vehicle. Let's pick one that we haven't seen Let's pick, uh, maybe we'll pick a Genesis here, USA, G80, 2020, and say a 3.3, .3, and then we want to know what is, say, the multifunction camera, and again, it's similar to the Hyundai uh, setup here, so... Autel is continuously working hard to help service professionals like yourself to work more efficiently and profitably. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.